created by Anthony Bezos in Australia. This is the Centurion tank, designed and developed by the United Kingdom just before the end of World War II, but served in the post-war and the Cold War as the first tank to be classified as the main battle tank, which I assume is a tank that's mainly used for battle. The Centurion tank has been used by a multitude of countries, but our focus is what the Australian military or the Royal Australian Armoured Corps was using their Centurions for. Before we get to that, we need a bit of context because I already have the information and I don't want it to go to waste. Anyway, as already said, the design or rather the concept for the tank started as far back as 1943. The tank was to be a heavy cruiser tank that would surpass the Comet tank. As you can guess, the Centurion didn't enter combat in the Second World War. However, there were prototypes that were being tested slash evaluated in Belgium about a month before Germany surrendered. Based on the evaluation, the Centurion tank overall was better than the Comet tank in almost every way. Originally, the Centurion was to go up against the German heavy Tiger tanks, but the Centurion would instead be competing with the Russian KV-85, or really any future tanks by the Russians. The Centurion wouldn't see combat until its Mark III iteration debuting during the Korean War by the British Army, or rather the 8th King's Royal Irish Hussars. The main difference between the Mark 1 and Mark 3 is the Mark 3 had the 20 pounder gun instead of the 17 pounder gun the Mark 1 had a shorter hull and a 2 inch mortar on the turret and of course weighing an extra 2 tons and improvements to the engine. Now that we got that context of the tank, where does Australia come into play? Well, mainly the Centurion was to replace the Australian's Churchill tanks. Mark III Centurions arrived around February of 1952 for the Australian 1st Armoured Regiment. Yes, they were purchased, not built, however a lot of modifications and upgrades were done over the decades. Most of the tanks will be converted to the Mark V-1, adding new sightings, machine guns and additional armour on the top front slope of the tank. 58 Australian Centurions served in the Vietnam War, notably in the defence of fire support bases. Corral at Balmoral during the 10th offensive of 1968, fighting around Bin Bab and in a number of offensive operations in the Funta province. 42 of those tanks had received damage, then likely repaired and continued to serve. Two crewmen died during operations in Vietnam, and I can't be sure if any tanks were destroyed or damaged beyond repair. Also, as a little plug in, I have to mention the Centurion tank that survived a nuclear blast, which is rather interesting. You should check the atomic tank. The Australian Centurion tanks were completely phased out of service around 1977 in favour of the German Leopard tank. Ironic. The Centurion tank was a really good tank and lasted the Australian military for about 25 years, but aside from Vietnam, the Australian military didn't use the Centurions as much as you'd think. But hey, it could be worse. You could have had 101 tanks that never saw action nor fire a single shot in combat. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be funny. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Please like and subscribe, it brings a smile to my face. And if you want to check the Atomic Tank, there's a link for that in the description, and it's probably coming up somewhere on the screen. But anyway, that's it for this video, and I'll see you mates next time.